Welcome to this grand celebration of the legacy, life, and lasting influence of Richard Feynman. The first thing I want all of you to understand is that I'm Richard's younger sister. <laughs> I was six, seven, and I opened the door, and there was my brother Richard, his hand out the window, holding a wastebasket full of papers which were burning. <laughs> I was a friend of Feynman early in his life. I was a student at Cornell and he was a young professor and we got to be friends. After Hiroshima, Dick decided he will never do any kind of secret work in his, the rest of his life. And he kept to that. His most famous contribution to physics was the diagrammatic approach to quantum electrodynamics. He was this young guy that nobody knew come along and say, Here's the rules. If you don't like them, lump them. Yeah, I made them up, but they work. This actually led to all the future developments that we are now in the midst of. String theory, for instance, would be impossible if we weren't able to generalize the Feynman diagrams to two-dimensional surfaces. There are many, many, many Feynmans around the world, both Richards and Jones. They have to be taught. They have to be inspired. An unofficial course called Physics X was really just Feynman standing in front of a classroom saying, ask me anything. I and a number of my freshman friends went to the rumored classroom at the rumored time and hoped that Feynman would show up. I regret that I never met Richard Feynman, and I think it's the definition of legacy that he continues to have such an impact on the generations that follow him. In addition to the genius who could peer into the quantum realm, he was also my irrepressible, fun-loving, lovable dad. Happy birthday, Papa. Thanks very much. How do you do? Well, let me come back next year. I enjoyed it. <laughs>